We might root for different teams. But we all respect the game. And we can all root for each other when we wear a mask. Mask up, America. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Spike Ridley Show. I'm your host, Andre Pullen, and today I got the manager of the base Maslin baseball team, <laughs> Spike Ridley. We want to thank our season-long sponsor, Ryan Pauzer and D. Hoff Realtors. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay, Coach, um, your Tigers are now 6-1 and one after a pair of wins over the weekend. Last Friday night, the Tigers beat McKinley 6 to nothing. Tell us more about that big win. Yeah, it was, it was a big game for us. You know, we've been looking to try to have a complete game offensively, defensively, and pitching. And really, that was our first one. We put it all together that night. We put some sacrifice bunts down when we needed it. And we made all our defensive plays. I think that's the thing that we took away from it for, uh, the most uh, as a building point to kind of go forward with our season. And then we got one heck of a pitching performance from Shane Rue, who's going to be on here in a few minutes. <laughs> On Saturday, your team made two wins over Akron Ellett, already, this season, already with the season, with a 15-3 victory. Your offense had 11 hits by Austin Cowan, who went 3-4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Austin, Austin led us on, uh, on Saturday for sure. He was 3-4, four, four, and you know, he's, been, he's been really working hard in practice. He's struggled a little bit the first few games. You know, we've been kind of coaching him up, talking to him. He's a good hitter. We know he's a good hitter. We're going to keep writing him in there, and he, he's starting to really put it together. So we're really happy for him to see him have that success on Saturday. You know, but we got another fine pitching performance from Jalen Leedy. Uh, he threw really well for us. Uh, and then we got the sophomore in inning at the end of the game, Christian Marsh, who was really sharp as well. Um, so we're just trying to develop our roster here uh, to get us ready as we move into the middle of the season. And Saturday was a great day for us as far as just coming back and being able to put two days together in a row, you know, going from McKinley on Friday and then, and then trying to put together another solid game Saturday against Ellett. Okay. Uh, last week you mentioned you were still moving some players around your lineup. Mm -hmm. um, have you settled to a more consistent lineup recently? Uh, a little bit. You know, we, we, we swapped a couple of guys. Uh, we moved Luke Sable up one, and, and we moved Austin back one to try to get Austin some better pitches to hit mm. to help him as he's working through, uh, you know, his current situation. But it seems to be helping for him. Uh, and we're also giving another guy a look in the outfield right now, uh, Jordan, Jordan Weiss. Uh, he's done a nice job for us. Uh, but, you know, we're going to keep coming back to the guys. The guys are going to get in there. Um, and they're going to continue to contribute. But we're, you know, in a short season, that's 27 games, uh, and it's, it's in a matter of five, six weeks, we do try to play the hot hand because for us, being an independent, we're trying to really fight for that, that tournament seat at the end of the year. Right, right. Uh, your pitching staff currently has a combined earn run average under three. You have to be pleased with this, right? Yeah, that, you know, that's one of the things I was thinking about Sunday night because you know, you're putting together your plan for the week. Uh, and, 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 you know, listen, there's going to be ups and downs and, and, and flows throughout the year as it happens. Uh, but right now, you know, you sure feel good about running out the, the three guys that we've been running out there each time on their turn, which is Zach Catrone, Jalen Leedy, and Shane Rue. Uh, and, and listen, there's going to be a week where we play an extra game or two, and it's going to give guys opportunities to get in there and step up and do the same thing. And we're hoping that we see that. And plus, you know, the, the guys that have been doing it, that we're trying, their, their, their approach right now is to try to stay consistent. And for us, that's to throw strike one. We feel like if we can get strike one, uh, it gives us a good chance to be successful that day. And we've really been focused on that. The guys have been doing a nice job. Interesting. Um, obviously, offensively, the top four guys in your batting order are all hitting over 500. How surprised are you for seeing this kind of production? Well, I wasn't going to tell him that, but since you did, Andre, we'll talk about it. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Uh, no, we've gotten some pretty good production out of the top part of the order. Um, 
and you know, we focus on quality at bats, so the the kids don't know their batting averages. I'm smart enough to know that they do know them, but we don't put, we don't talk about them. Uh, but to see that production from the top, that starts with our quality at bat approach. So, you know, you get a quality at bat for hitting the ball hard, moving a run over, runner over with less than two outs, putting your bunts down, taking a walk. Uh, those guys have done a really good job with that. And really, the, the exciting part about it is that the second, uh, the, the second third, you know, two thirds to, to the end of the order has really started to, to step it up as well. So, you know, we think we have a shot to have a pretty solid order start to finish. Um, and, and, you know, those guys have certainly led the way early on at the beginning of the year. Okay. Uh, we'll talk more with Coach with, and we'll visit with a Tiger player in a moment. But first, here's a message from Ryan Paulser and D Huff Realtors. Hey guys, Ryan Prosser here with D Hoff Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from Ducky Schroeder Field located at Maslin Washington High School. From 1995 to 1998, I spent a lot of time on this very mound pitching and winning performances. Nowadays, I spend most of my time pitching winning offers for my clients who are buying homes. Whether you're looking for a realtor who can help pitch a winning offer in this heated market or one that can take your listing and turn it into a grand slam, call me today. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope to hear from you soon. And thanks to Ryan Prosser and the Hoff Realtors. And welcome back to Spike Ridley Show. The Tiger playing joining us this week is Junior Shane Rue. Now Shane, Coach chose you to be on the show today because you're an outstanding pitcher performance against McKinley last Friday. You threw a complete game, five hits shutout, and you struck out eight Bulldogs. What do you remember most about that game? I think the a couple of things I'm going to remember about that game is, you know, anytime we play McKinley, football or baseball or in any sport really, there's a special feeling that you get, and it's hard to explain to most people who don't get that experience, but uh, especially playing at Thurman Munson Stadium, the sound there is just different. Uh, just the way the stadium set up the sound. Uh, I think one thing I'll never forget is just the final out of that game, especially uh, that pop out the center field with Austin Callen making the catch. It was just just a special feeling, especially when you beat the Bulldogs. Uh, the, and then the look on coach, my pitching coach, Coach Knight's face, uh, I'll never forget those, those two things. Um, what's it like getting to play for the Tigers after a season, what well, last season was canceled due to the pandemic? You know, uh, after that pandemic and my sophomore season being canceled, you just get a newfound appreciation for everything, especially when it comes to sports, mm. just soaking it all in. Um, it's, just a, it's just a great opportunity to go out there and just finally get to play and finally get the ball out and with your, you know, your boys and whatnot. That's right. um, how old were you when you started playing baseball and uh, who introduced you to I started fairly late. I was about 11 years old when I started playing baseball. Um, the person who introduced it to me was my stepdad, Robert Smith. Um, and I also had a friend who introduced me to the game and we practiced a lot and I just found a new found love for the game. That's so nice. So uh, you're a junior on a senior dominated team. How would you know your role in that team? Uh, I think I try not to worry about my role too much because the, the main goal is just to get a, get a win at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So wherever I think me and the coaches have a pretty good understanding of where I need to play and to, to win the game, especially with the other guys too, because we all share separate roles. We have many different positions, everybody. Everybody has to pitch, everybody has to be able to play multiple. So yeah, I think just wherever I need to play to get the, get the W. All right. Um, when you're not pitching, is there any other positions you're capable of playing? I play baseball. So wherever the coaches put me on the field. Just anywhere? That's what you gotta do. Okay, your team is off to a six and one start. How good can this team be? Uh, I tell the guys all the time, you know, our potential is limitless and it starts in practice. Um, it's just, it's, it's a good thing to get the practice going in the right direction, get everybody on the same page, same energy, keep the energy up just like it would be in the game. We, our potential is limitless. We could compete with anybody, I think, like the coach said previously. Coach Reed will join the program after this timeout. I feel like like her heartbeat is like same speed as mine. And I think we have this like deep connection, this heart connection in her heart that there's there's room for me and mom. 
when I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. It's a sensory thing. It's a thing with Asperger's. She's really good with Anya. I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet. And this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's gonna be cool. She's my superhero. Good job, kitty cat. When we adopted Lucky, we discovered all the wonderful things that make her unique. Lucky's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly she's pure love. And welcome back to Spike and Rachel Show. Now, Coach, we just seen Shane Rue, right? Tell us what it means about this team, this year's team. Yeah, Shane, Shane's a big contributor. You know, it's, it, it starts for us in the offseason uh, with our guys. That's where they have the opportunity to build trust, being consistent during that voluntary period, being around their team uh, and their teammates. And he, you know, he sets the tone right from the beginning because he's going to football workouts and baseball workouts. So he's doing something every day of the week. Um, and that, that takes an extra sacrifice to do that. Uh, so his teammates see that. But then along with that comes the hard work and effort that you see when he is here. Um, so, so far for Shane, it's been really, I've been really happy to see his start to the season because I know that he does work so hard. Um, but one thing I've been really proud of him is, is his ability to stay sort of even. He doesn't get too high, he doesn't get too low, and he really is just that constant, uh, constant guy on the mound. You know, whether it's going good for him or not, you know, if you look at his demeanor and his body language, it doesn't change. Uh, and so it's kind of that calm leadership. Uh, and he kind of has his own way about him, how he does it, and it's really helped our team. Um, as we record this on Tuesday, the Tigers will play in Louisville in a home-and-home -home matchup today and Wednesday. Tell us what you know about the Leopards. They swing early in the count. They like fastballs, and they hit them hard. Um, we found that out a couple of years ago when we played the home-and-home -home with them. Uh, you know, a, a goal for us today is going to be, you know, try to get strike one. Sometimes that's going to be by going off speed to start. Um, if, and if we're able to throw off speed pitch for strike one today, it's going to help with that early swing that they'll do. Uh, and that'll be their approach both days. Uh, I got a lot of respect for, for Coach Warner. Um, he's a guy that I've known for a while. He's done a great job with that program and they'll be ready to go today. So, uh, but so will we. Okay. On Friday, you get a rematch with McKinley, but this time it's at home. It's always special playing with Mc, like, against McKinley, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we, we talked to the kids about it before we got on the bus last Friday. Uh, there was two pieces to that game. One, Munson is where the districts are played. So anytime we get a chance to go play there, we want to play well because we want to go back. Um, and, then the, and then the overarching thing that, that, that kind of goes over the whole thing is McKinley. You want to beat McKinley. Um, Coach Zelmer, I'm sure he's preaching the same things to his kids over there at McKinley. It was a good game. I know that the final score was 6 nothing, but anybody that was at that game and, and being a part of that game, that was much closer than 6 nothing. Um, it, we were just tacking on a run each inning, uh, and we really had to scratch to get that run. Uh, McKinley left a lot of people on base. Uh, you know, we're one swing away or one missed defensive play or one pitch going a different way for that being a, you know, a one-run game going in either direction. So our kids know that. We have an opportunity now to go out and play well and try to get two wins against them in one season, and that's going to be our goal for Friday. Okay. Then on Saturday, you are scheduled to play another set of Bulldogs as you go on the road to play at Green. Is there anything you can, like, tell us about them? or? Yeah, Green's a Federal League opponent, uh, just like McKinley. Um, so, and it's a district opponent, so that'll factor in when we go into the seeding at the end of the year. It's an important game for us. Uh, it's a team that we've had a hard time with um, in the last five, six years. Uh, so I'd like to see us go play well and go over there and get a win, uh, but we're going to have to earn it. It's going to be a good team. It's going to be a battle-tested team that's seen a number one and number two every Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we try to do that by scheduling independence like we have this, you know, today and tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see where we're at as far as where the development that we've had since the Dover game when we faced the last number one, uh, really good number one, you know, in, in, in uh, McCune. So we're looking forward to that opportunity on Saturday, and we're trying to come away with a win for sure. Okay. And finally, um, you look around Stark County, which teams are you, like, looking closely at? What, which, one are you, like, which one are you, like, looking long term for? Say, like, for tournaments or just following a regular season? Us? Yeah. I'm looking at us. Um, I, think, I think for you know, our, our mantra, and the kids would tell you, we're worried about us. We're worried about our preparation. Uh, we're worried about how we play. We feel, we feel if we do the things that we practice each day, and I see the kids doing in practice, 
Uh, we feel like if we can go out and do that in the game, be 65% strikes, be 60% quality at bats, and make our defensive plays, we feel like we can be in the game with anybody in the county. So for us, it's more about us just going out and trying to be the team that we know we can be. Uh, but the hard part about that, you know, it, just like anything else in life, is to prepare and do that every single day, no matter if it's a practice day or whoever the opponent is. And that's something we've been talking about. We're lucky because we have a lot of seniors that have been kind of driving that leadership for us. Uh, we made some great, great headway yesterday with that in practice. And that's, that's what we're preaching. You know, we're worried about us and trying to make sure we're consistent and be that team that we want to be. Okay. Well, thank you, Coach. As we wrap up this edition of the Spike Ridgely Show, we want to thank our sponsor, Rosen, Ryan Prosser and D. Hop Realt Realtors for sponsoring our program. Thank you, Coach Ridgely and Junior Shane Rue for joining us this week, for this week's show. I'm your host, Andre Pullen. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Tigers. Massillon City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit MassillonSchools.org for more information.